I have been waiting for this box for months. You, you have no idea how excited I am because ever since I saw this product launched, I've been excited about it. Obviously you've seen the title, you know, it's Sony A7S III inside. At least I hope so, because as you can see, it's completely sealed. So I've been using my A7S II, which is over here, my monitor holder. I've been using this camera probably for over a thousand videos has have been shot on it. I bought this three years ago, maybe like that. It's been an absolute beast, but this is what I'm so much more excited about because this is a big, big upgrade. <laughs> okay, this uh, Sony seal is slightly ripped over here, but uh, let's open it. Now it's not so much of what's inside because you guys probably already know what's inside, but it's... Okay. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at the thickness of that. Look, it tells you what SD cards to buy. We have the HDMI slot holder. We have a USB-C cable. Sorry, I'm just super, super excited if you don't know this. There is a battery charger by the Sony. This is absolutely massive. Why can't they make this smaller? Are you complaining already? So where's the camera? The power cords for the battery charger, the strap. What is this over here? A7S III. Is that, is that today? Is that really it? Oh, can't believe I'm holding this. Ooh, it's massive. It looks massive compared to the A7S 2 It is huge. Where's the battery? There's the battery. Let me just do a little size comparison with the A7S 2 and 3 It just looks bigger. Everything looks bigger on it. All the buttons are a bit bigger. Like the design looks very, very, very similar. It is so much bigger. Wow. Okay. Let me just put the battery in and see what happens. Check this out. English, enter, London. Okay, day, month, year, date. What is it today? 16th of October. Okay, shows that the battery is pretty empty over here. We're gonna start charging that in a moment. I am extremely excited. The cool thing is the camera comes already on video mode, because obviously, who's gonna shoot photos on this? Wait a second, we need to put a memory card in as well. Let me get a lens and memory card. For a memory card, we have a Lexa V60 card. So let's see if that is going to work. How do you open that? That's my first UHS-2 card. As you can see, there's like second layer of pins on the bottom there. Go on, focus. No, no focus. Okay, there we go. Is that an insult to put this lens on this camera? It's like cheapest lens in the world. Well, not really, but Viltrox 85 1.8. Ooh, <laughs> the autofocus is so fast. <laughs> I've got to let it charge a bit. So my first impressions, you don't really know, if you've been the A7S II user before, then this camera looks absolutely massive. I'm gonna get some B-roll so you can see here how, how big it is compared to it, but it's like, this A7S II is like just a skinny boy. Hello, little boy. Whereas this one is just massive. When I got my A7S II, one of the first things I did was I cut off one of these little fiddly bits because they were just fiddling around for some reason they knew they've like listened to everything that the users say and just watched everything and made the camera perfect somehow they've made it these holes smaller so these are not actually making any noise so you don't have to take these off to use the camera strap so people who want to use them this is making no noise that is interesting 
it's one of the first things I realized all, also is like the back dial that used to be like inside the body over here for your thumb for adjusting the, uh, is it the shutter speed? Yeah, the shutter speed. That is now on top of it over here, as you can see. Ooh, and the exposure has a locking nub, locking nub, locking nub. If you're Estonian, you know what that means. Nub is a button. I don't know why I said that. I'm not even thinking in Estonian. Locking button. So you can lock the exposure compensation. The shutter spot button is the same as Sony's always had. Like on Canon, there is very like specific half press and then you click when you make the actual, you know, shutter release. Whereas this one is like a half button, like move down and then it's like spongy second click. Not like click, click. It's like move down and spongy click. The body seems so much thicker, so much thicker it looks. Obviously, I noticed that on the reviews that you've seen online for like the all the Sony, you know, guys who got the Sony camera, the pre-production model, they had like a Sony like logo somewhere over here. So when you opened it, the Sony logo was upside down. This doesn't have the Sony logo on the screen anymore. It looks like they haven't added a screen protection on the screen. It used to come with screen protection. It was clearly like seeable, the screen protection on it, but I don't think there is one on anymore. Maybe worth getting a screen protection. Like all my screws on the bottom of my, my camera are like, um, are like, corroded and rusty it's like nice to see some clean screws now the battery grip has like two mounting points on the bottom over here if you can see there's like one on the top over here and one on the bottom over here for the battery grip and um, the old one only has one on the bottom over here as you can see what about from the front from the front we have like a little different this light over here is slightly different as well on here we have only like a one little light whereas this one is different the grip is so much better and so much bigger you can grab something hold of it whereas this one is like it kind of disappears in your hand but this is this is very nice this is this is this is wow wow can i just say that i want to see the viewfinder my goodness this is ridiculous Oh my word, the image quality on the viewfinder, it's unbelievable. That's absolutely amazing. So the sensor for this um, eyepiece, it works when, when if the screen is not flipped over the other way, like the actual screen over here, the sensor over here works. As soon as it's flipped the other way, because it still hasn't, you see, even if you shoot it like that, as soon as you flip it the other way, like you see, now flipped doesn't work flip back it works it used to be that one when, when your screen is like pulled out slightly then it works but at the moment it's it's not working like that that's uh, amazing yeah if you want to know anything about it or you're wondering oh how does this work on the camera i'd be very interested in checking out so stay tuned for some of the content on this channel and one of the things i'm thinking about doing is putting these two literally head to head and then see how much better can one be over the other and how much has it improved things like that so and you know stay tuned subscribe if you haven't already but i don't know you know maybe you want to you don't want to. you don't have to you really don't have to but it would be nice it's for your benefit really it's not it's not hard letting the battery charge and then i'm gonna just play around fiddle around with the settings and all that stuff so yeah thanks guys for watching see you soon